the fortune teller. Where's the fishing line? I didn't think you would need it. Ah, it's all tangled. <laughs> Since you lost your other one. Lost and found. I mean, you guys both look great. Smoochy, smoochy. <gasps> all she did was put on a necklace and he was enamored with her. That means he's been liking her the whole time because nothing really changed about her. Oh, close one. <laughs> Morning zigzags. No need. Uh, is he blind? <laughs> Laid an egg. Who predicted I'd have a safe journey? She's the fortune teller from my village. Fortune teller? You were almost killed. But I wasn't. All you right. were saved. Have a good one. Great. She wasn't wrong. What do you know? An umbrella. Well, that proves it. Okay, yeah, that does. I'm convinced already. You don't hand someone an umbrella and then they open it and they say, fortune teller, you're going to need it. Then it starts raining. There is some truth to him saying the gray, the sky was gray, though. I mean, that is how these snake oil salesmen work. My name is Meng and I'm Aunt Wu's assistant. Oh, okay. I was about to say. You've got some pretty big ears, don't you? They're huge. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. Very nice. Likewise. Did she tell her your future husband is going to have a blue head and blue feet? Good luck with that. Is that the big ear guy who Aunt Wu predicted you'd marry? What? Who's next? I guess that's me. What do you think they're talking about? Love, who she's gonna marry, how many babies she's gonna have. And he wants it to be him, okay. They we're getting to that point in their relationship where he might verbalize how he feels about her to her. He's a very powerful bender. Prince Zuko? I know it's not gonna be him. The most reliable method of telling your fortune. The bones never lie. Pick one. Go on, Aang. <gasps> oh my! It doesn't matter if you haven't seen him before. You should know the future. You will be involved in a great battle. A battle will determine the fate of the world. I knew that already. I was about to say, that's nothing. Trust your heart and you will be with the one you love. Thank you, Aunt Wu. He's like, these freaking kids, man. I just, I made a real show here and he just. What did she tell you? Some stuff. You'll find out. I mean, what's the point of professing your love to her if you know you're like, y'all gonna be traveling together all the time? It's gonna seem like you have forever and then he's not gonna have the chance. Someone else is gonna come and snatch her. Fluffy bunny cloud forecasts doom and destruction. Do you even hear yourself? <laughs> don't you think that cloud looks like a flower? Uh, hey, Katara, don't you think that cloud looks like a flower? Bending arrow cloud. Good crops this year. Nice big harvest. I don't trust this lady. I'm just saying, man. Fortune telling? Come on. How has she not been captured yet? The village will not be destroyed by the volcano. Yeah! I like you. Oh, he... Oh, he told her. I was sitting here saying, oh, you're going to wait. He said it within the next two minutes. She said I'd be wearing red shoes when I met my true love. How many times have you worn those shoes? Every day. Then of course it's going to come true. See, it's stuff like that. He's using his brain. I don't care what Aunt Wu told you. You have to take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> I've been picking up a subtle vibe that she likes you too. She does? Oh, yeah. She's crazy about you. You have to act like you don't really care one way or the other. I was wondering. See you later. That kid is good. <laughs> oh, I hate papaya. Hey, Katara. I didn't see you there. <laughs> a panda lily. Where can a guy find one of those things? I can't believe you're dragging me up here for a stupid flower. Oh, he's going to see the volcano that it's almost at the top. Oh, no. And then they're going to think she's that? wrong. Baby, get your money back from her. Can you believe she won't let me in? After all the business I've given her? She doesn't even charge. I know, but still. Oh, damn. I said get your money back. Yeah, I can't really complain about a free fortune teller then. Aunt Wu was wrong about the volcano. You tried to convince me she was wrong before. Bitch, we were just at the top rim. You don't believe me if I tell you I saw the thing up there with my own eyes? You are all in danger. We have to get out. Here to take fate into your own hands. Aunt Wu, get your ass out here and explain yourself. They will listen to Aunt Wu. They need to borrow Aunt Wu's cloud reading book. Are you gonna kidnap her? Is he gonna whip the 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 cloud? He's gonna whip the cloud to make it look like something. You don't like me, do you? Of course I like you. Not the way I like you. I guess not. I don't even know you. You're gonna meet a great guy who's gonna completely fall for you. Thanks. <laughs> How did you know? 
Clouds are made of water and air. We ought to be able to bend them into any shape we want. Symbol for volcanic doom. Oh my God, this is crazy. What are you doing? And I get it. It's like stupid ass people want to believe in fortune tell let them let them burn. But it's like they're just fools. They don't deserve to die. <gasps> oh my. Oh, hell no. I don't need a fortune teller to know that that cloud. If I was looking outside and saw that cloud. If any of you are earthbenders, come with me. We've got to hurry. <laughs> what if the lava doesn't attack him? And she was right. No, of course she's. Come on, Mike. Dig faster. All right, kid. It's like real snow on top of an animated scene. Doing, Aang. Damn. Aang is one powerful bender. I suppose he is. Don't start liking him just because a fortune teller told you. That's not how you, this is supposed to work. And the bitch was lying. You just found out from the volcano. I hope this has taught everyone a lesson about not relying on fortune telling. Aunt Wu predicted the village wouldn't be destroyed. She was. She's mother. You didn't really see love in my fortune, did you? You just told me what I wanted to hear. You're going to be alone like Jack. As you reshape those clouds, you have the power to shape your own destiny. I mean, you are the avatar. Take care. Woozy. <laughs> Yo, I didn't expect that. Another looks like little side episode, but we got some fortunes and we got, even if it was proven in the episode, she's not right all the time, 100%. Some seeds of some things could have been planted here, whether with Katara and Aang or Aang and I think Ming, her name was, or Aang to Katara. And we know he admitted his feelings for her she just didn't hear him she brushed him off that was cold <laughs> she didn't do it intentionally though but it's just you could tell he was crushed he, he might give up on trying to let her know how he feels at least for the time being Sokka's hilarious this dude is is like so he is pretty sharp with the quips hey, do you hear yourself <laughs> he talked about damn i forgot what the dude was talking about. he said something stupid about the the, the rabbit shaped cloud but yeah the main thing to take away from this crafting your own destiny for sure or your own fate and she did say that thing about you were going to be in a fight that determines good and evil like i said we many times we we knew this we he is the chosen one everyone knows it that's going to encounter him that it's basically a countdown until you end this war many years has passed it's time no zuko uh is, is this the first episode we got with autumn i, I don't can't remember but oh and consider how last episode ended with him being saved and then looking at the emblem and then <laughs> learning about how he got the thing on his face ah and book one is water so i don't know what book two is gonna be i mean see now the powerful air bending thing now it's that skull cloud was amazing like i can still see it and to be able to form and do that airbender and he's the last one do i see katara and ang ending up together hard to tell everyone's still so young and got lives to live and i feel like there's gonna be characters coming by along that woo both characters even Sokka got his little kissing with the kiyoshi warrior see i remember i don't know where we're off to next but we have yet to come across something that is truly harrowing even her saying she saw the big battle and ang we trust look what he just did with the village with the volcano he's killing it right now <laughs> <laughs> 